Hi everybody, this is Miss Jessica from the Tech at Lowell Branch Library here to share another STEM activity with you today. And the activity we have today is going to teach us a little bit about chemical change. What is a chemical change? A chemical change is a change that takes place within the small bits of matter that make up everything in the world called molecules, and it changes the substance to a point where it is a new substance or compound. Some common examples you've probably seen of chemical changes are when you bake a cake and you mix all the ingredients together so that when you add the heat, it creates the cake out of all the ingredients that you put in there, or a piece of burning wood where you put the fire and the wood together and it turns the wood into ash, or if you've ever left your bike sitting outside when it rained too often and the metal parts of the bike start to rust, that's the water of the rain, causing a molecular change within the metal that creates the rust. For our activity today, we're going to be creating a chemical change by adding salt into water and creating salt water out of regular water. And we're going to see how that chemical change can help us pick up ice cubes out of glass of water using just a string. So for this activity, you need two cups of already cold water. You need some salt. You need two pieces of string, yarn, something like that, and some ice. Okay, I have my setup here. I just have my two cups of cold water on a towel so that I don't make a mess with the water. And the first thing we're going to do is grab two ice cubes to put inside each of our cups. The ice should just float right at the top of your cold water. And so next, we're just gonna take one of our strings and we're going to try to lay the string on top of the ice cubes where it's almost touching them. And then the other end of the string can just be hanging out of the cup. And then we're gonna take our other string and do the same thing on the other cup here. There we go, that's touching the ice cubes. They may not perfectly touch the tops of the ice cubes, but do the best you can to try to have that string touching the ice cubes. So for our experiment, we want to take these strings and be able to grab the end that's not in the water and pick it up and see if the ice will come with it. And we're gonna create the chemical change to see if that helps us at all. So this cup, I'm gonna leave with no salt. This is just gonna be regular water. And then for this cup, I'm gonna take some of my salt and I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the ice where the string is and cause that chemical change to create salt water. So pour a little bit in my hand and then sprinkle it right on top. You can't really do too little or too much with this, but I wouldn't just pour salt in it either. Just take a little bit in your hand, just like I did, and just sprinkle it right on top. Chemical changes do take a little bit of time, so we're going to sit for about three minutes and let this process happen, and then we'll test and see if we can pick up any of the ice cubes with our strings. Okay, my timer just went off, so let's test. Nothing with the string in regular water. The ice cubes are almost melted, but they're still in there. I don't know if you can really see it on camera. And then you can see the two ice cubes right here. So let's try this one. And both of our ice cubes came up with the string. So as you just saw, the string on the ice in the cup with regular water did not stick to the ice. The string on the ice in the salt water did stick to the ice and we were able to pick the string up and see the ice stuck to it. So how did the chemical change of adding salt help us pick up the ice cubes? Well, by creating salt water, we created a substance that has a lower freezing temperature than regular water. Regular water freezes at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit and salt water freezes at about 22 degrees Fahrenheit. So both sets of ice cubes in each cup are taking in warm air from the room around it and are melting. 
But by making the salt water and creating a substance with a lower freezing point, you're going to get a little bit more melt because it takes a colder temperature for that ice to stay frozen. Also in each cup, as the ice is melting and taking in heat, it's allowing the areas around it to cool down, which is why when you put ice in a drink, the drink cools down. In the cup with the regular water, you just have a regular process of melting and cooling happening inside the cup. But in the cup with the salt water, we created that chemical change as that process was happening, changing the freezing temperature, which created a small layer of extra water on top of the ice as it melted that would then refreeze because of the cooling happening and stick the string to the ice so that when we pulled the string up, the ice came with it. If you want to learn more about chemical changes, I put some links down in the description for you to explore further. I hope you had fun doing this experiment with me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.